Here's a new related to Halloween. It will it will be held on the 31st October 2022 in America or worldwide. So let's begin with the history of trick or treating and how it become a traditional a, a traditional festival in Halloween. Here, trick or treating became widespread in the US after World War II, driven by the country's suburbanization that allowed kids to safely travel door to door seeking candy from the neighbors. In 2020, in 2020, the tradition looked different due to the coronavirus pandemic. Here, a costumed actor hands out candy at a Halloween drive through experience in Woodland Hills, California. I think that I will divide that this video will be divided into two parts. The first part I will read until the um, how trick or treating became a tradition. And the next part I will be reading about the how trick or treating grew popular and to the rest of it. But now let's get started with our news. All right. Every year on October 31st, adults listen for the sound of a knock, knock on the door from costumed children, arms outstretched with a bag open for candy. In modern times, trick or treating has become a nearly scarred Halloween tradition in the United States. Yet historians say the origins of kids begging their neighbors for food may date back to ancient Celtic celebrations or even a long lost Christmas custom. And the phrase itself dates back to the 1920s when Halloween pranks once set entire cities on edge. Here's how trick or treating involved. The origin of Halloween. Halloween is thought to date back more than 2,000 years of Samhain, a Celtic New Year's Day that fell on November 1st. Demons, fairies, and spirits of the dead went through to walk the earth the night before when the separation was thin between the words of the living and the dead. The cells lit bonfires as set of gifts for the food, hoping to win the favor of the spirits of those who had died in the past years. They also disguised themselves so that the spirits of the dead wouldn't recognize them. Some hint later transformed in the 7th century into All Saints Day or All Hallows Day as Christian leaders co-opted pagan holidays, but the night before continued to be observed with bonfires, costumes, and parrots under the new name Hal Halloween, a Hallow's Eve, later Halloween. European immigrants then brought Halloween to the United States, and the celebration became popular in the 80,000s when Irish-American immigration exploded. Their folk customs and beliefs merged with existing agricultural traditions, meaning Halloween dubbed the occult, but stay grounded in the full harvest. Over the years, the holiday became a time for children to dress up as the ghosts the ancestors once feared. How trick or cheating became a tradition, but how did those Celtic traditions evolve into one of the children trick or cheating in costumes for fun and candy, not for safety from spirits? According to the fifth edition of Holiday Symbols and Customs, in as nearly as the 16th century, it was customary in England for those who were poor to go begging on All Souls Day, and children eventually took over the custom. At the time, it was popular to give children cakes with crosses on top called saw cakes in exchange for prayers on your behalf. Lisa Morton, other trick or cheat, a history of Halloween, traced one of the earliest mentions of typical Halloween celebrations to a letter from Queen Victoria about spending Halloween around a bonfire in Scotland in 1869. Having made the circuit of the castle, the letter said the remainder of the torches were thrown in a pile at the southwest corner, thus performing a large bonfire which was speedily accumulated without the combustibles until it formed a burning mass of huge proportions, round which dancing was speedily carried on. Morton writes that people in America, in American middle class, often were anxious to imitate their British cousins, which could explain a short story printed in 1870 that painted Halloween as an English holiday celebrated by children with fortune telling and games to win treats. However, Morton writes it's possible that trick or treating may be a more recent tradition that surprisingly may have been inspired by Christmas. But Christmas, a popular 18th and 19th century 
Christmas custom called banuskling in the eastern areas of the U.S. and Canada was similar to trick or treating. Groups of costume participants would go from house to house to perform small tricks in exchange for food and drink. Some band girls even deliberately frightened young children at houses before asking if they had been good enough to earn a treat. And other early descriptions say that those handing out treats had to guess the in- identities of the of the disguised revelers, giving food to anyone they couldn't identify. In the 19th century, tricks such as rattling winners and trying door shuts were often made to look as though supernatural forces had conjured them. Some people offered candy as a way to protect their homes from prankers, pranksters who might wake havoc by dissembling farm equipment and reassembling it on the fruit a rooftop. By the early 20th century, some property owners had even begun to find back and lawmakers in creature communities to keep children in check with wholesome fun. These pranks likely gave rise to the use of the phrase trick or cheat. Party popkin, a etymologist, traced the earliest usage of the phrase in connection with Halloween to a 1927 Alberta newspaper article reporting on the pranksters demanding trick or treat at houses. Alright, so I think that's the part to this video I'll read tomorrow because now I'm really thirsty and really, really sleepy right now. So I'll see you tomorrow.